Good morning guys for Mexico City, yes I am here and uh, today I'm making my way via the metro system to the cable bus uh, which is a cable car um, serving the suburbs, the eastern suburbs of Mexico, this one it's, it's uh, known as Line 2 which is the longest cable car system in the world, believe it or not. So I'm going to check it out, uh, why don't you come with me for the trip and uh, I'll see you when I get there. Cheers for now. I've been in Mexico City a couple of days by this point, uh, so I was getting used to the metro system. Yeah, the cars were a bit beaten up, but it's cheap and efficient. Now, a single journey on the metro cost 5 pesos at the time of recording, which is about 20 pence. Now, this morning I was taking Line 8, the Green Line, all the way down to Constitución de 1917. Right, so just got off the metro at the end of the line. Santa Marta, that's the one I want. It's just down this road somewhere, we'll go and have a look if we can find it, shall we? Come on. Yeah, so like I said, when you get outside the metro station, it's just a quick walk along, which is probably a typical Mexico City street, really. Uh, and then you arrive at the smart, modern cable bus station of the Constitution in 1917. Now, the line had only been open for less than a year when I visited. And in fact, when I was looking back on Google Maps Street View, the stations were still only partially built. But anyway, I wandered in and bought a ticket. Uh, cost for a single journey on the cable bus uh, was seven pesos at the time of recording, again for any single journey. Actually, when I say I bought a ticket, uh, you, you need a metro card to do this, and because I didn't have one, I just gave one of the locals ten pesos to get me through the barrier, and then I told him to keep the change. Problem solved, isn't it? A very nice couple, actually, and here they are, just going up the stairs in front of me. As you would expect, the system works just like any other cable car in the world. Just wait in line for the next empty gondola. So let's get on board and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the service and the route as we go along. Okay, so the cable bus system in Mexico City, of which there are currently two lines, is a low-cost method of enabling urban mobility. And it's basically in place to ease congestion. And looking at the streets below, you can imagine how much easier it is to sail effortlessly above the houses on your way to and from the metro stations that connect both ends of the line. Now talking of the line, as I said in the introduction, uh, line 2, uh, which is the one I'm on today, is the longest public transportation route via cable car in the world, at 10.55 uh, kilometres. And it runs over the Iztapalapa district, uh, which is the most populated area in the city, uh, of around 2 million inhabitants. And it connects the metro stations at Constitución de 1917 and Santa Marta. Now uh, we're just arriving at the first of five intermediate stations along the route, Quetzalcoatl, uh, which I believe means Feathered Serpent in Aztec culture. Now if you look at the official map of Line 2, it's um, looking like one continuous route, isn't it? Uh, but it's important to note that uh, you do have to change gondolas at Zalpa, and then you continue on your way as normal. So we're off again. Uh, nobody got on or off our gondola at this point in the journey. Uh, there were around six of us in the car, all locals uh, apart from me, uh, and we had a good time on the journey really. And I managed to communicate that I was making a YouTube video of the route, which I think they thought was a bit strange to be honest. Um, but yeah, I got the impression uh, that uh, yeah, it's a bit off the tourist trail this one.
were $305 on line two. And like I said, each one carries around six people, although I'm sure more can get squeezed in at busy times. Uh, daily passenger numbers were about 50,000 at the time of this recording. The average speed of the line is about 20 kilometres an hour. It took me around 42 minutes, I reckon, from start to finish. In terms of sites, you travel just north of the Sierra de Santa Catarina, uh, which is a chain of impressive, but fortunately monogenetic volcanoes, of which Tetlamance is the largest. But I found that just travelling above the houses was just absolutely fascinating, really. The many water tanks, laundry drying in the yards, along with hens and um, chickens, makeshift sun shelters. Yeah, it obviously gets pretty hot here and um, surprisingly hilly, I found. Uh, but then a cable car transportation system is really good at handling terrain like this, isn't it? And now many of the residents in Iztapalapa reportedly live in poverty, but it's still their home. And they've got a sense of real local pride, in, especially in some of the brightly coloured murals painted on to many of the building exteriors that we passed over. And, you know, looking back to the centre of the city, the housing, it just carries on for miles and miles as far as the eye can see, doesn't it? I was new in the end of my journey now, uh, just leaving San Miguel Teatongo, which is the penultimate station when travelling towards Santa Marta. And as we pass over the suburbs once more, I had a very unexpected Avgeek surprise waiting for me in the local park below. Now see if you can spot what it is, and uh, if you happen to know why it's there, and where it came from, um, be sure to let me know in the comments below. That was amazing, the longest cable car ride in the world. Uh, so there you have it. Um, I'm at um, Santa Marta uh, metro station now, I think, because uh, I'm going to go back in, into the city centre. But tell you what, what a variety of colour and an amazing place, Mexico City. And I met some fantastic people there in the gondolas on the way, all the way over here. So big shout out and thank you very much. Gracias to them for helping me along. And it's, I tell you what, guys, it's. Um, it's not so difficult, you know, I'm on my own here in a strange place, but you can get by even if you don't know much Spanish, as I don't, but you can definitely get by. Thank you very much for watching, I shall catch you on another adventure soon, I'm sure. And as always guys, cheers for now.